Understanding the structure and organization of the Hotspot CRM is crucial to get the most value out of your CRM. The aim of this video is not to provide a long and painful explanation of all the subtleties of Hotspot databases, but to give you the basics in terms of vocabulary and concepts to understand how all the data of your prospect and customers are organized in only a few minutes. So first, you must surely be familiar with the Hotspot contact page, which lists all the people present in your CRM. Each line equal one person and for each column we will find a type of information that we know about them. So we have the email, the phone number, the name, their company, etc. These columns are called properties and they are used to store specific information about a contact. This specific information about a record is called value. This allows us to classify our information about a contact rather than having a sort of large text file with everything we know about someone. So in summary, for specific contacts, a record in our database, we have information, the value of an information that is organized in properties. And we can find the detail of these values by going to the record page of a contact which gathers all these information and activities. So on the activity tab, you can find all the different tasks, meeting, call, and interaction this lead had with you on a spot. And on the left part, you can find all the different properties, so information we know about this lead. By going to actions and view all properties, you will be able to find exhaustive list of everything we know about a specific contact. But now, if we go to the company page, we notice that everything is similar, except that the properties are different. So we see that we have like one record, which is a spot, which is a company, and the information we know about a spot are not classified into the same properties as the contacts. And that's where the objects come into play. The simplest way to understand the object is to go to data model tab of your spot portal. So to find it, go to reporting, data management, data model. And when arriving on this page, we notice that under the title CRM objects, we find our famous contacts and companies presented separately. We can see that the number of records is also different. So for company, we have only one record and for contacts, we have two records. And by displaying the details, we notice that the properties of these two objects are different. Here we have like 214 properties for a contact. And when we go to company, we only have 91 properties for companies. So why? Because a spot offers a separate database for each object. We have the contact database, the company database, etc. So we find several CRM objects. We have the contact, the physical person in your CRM, the companies, so all the institution and businesses you have in your CRM, and the tickets that are specific customer requests. But we also have sales objects. First, we have transaction, the business opportunities you have with a contact or a company, your products and your quotes. And then we can ask ourselves two questions. First, why does a spot decide to separate those information and isn't that handicapping for us? So first, if a spot decides to compartmentalize this information is because we don't need the same information when we talk about a contact or a contract, for instance. Having this data well segmented in separate databases ensure that we have a clarity of your data and that we can use your portal in the most efficient way. And is it a problem? It could have been without the last concept to present in this video associations. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your hotspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your hotspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your hotspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web 
page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. So even if the data are separate, the magic of a spot is to allow us to associate objects record with each other. So for instance, we have a contact, let's say Dr. Martin. He works at Red Clinic and he wants to buy us pill one. So we have three records, Martin contact, Red Clinic company, and pill one purchase or deal. The good thing is that a spot will automatically link these three records together and allow us to benefit from total visibility on these three subjects. Now, where it becomes interesting is if we take our example, but we realize that Dr. Philip also works at Red Clinic, but he wants to buy us pill number two. So now we have two contacts for one company and we avoid storing the information of the company twice. And for example, when we will have to invoice this red clinic, everything will be much simpler. And the last thing to know about the organization of HubSpot is that it can store information by objects, the properties, as we said, but it is also able to track and store the activities of each of these objects under activities. And that's the last part of our data model. You can consult the history of emails, LinkedIn, calls, etc. and have a view of these and all the objects record associated with them, giving you an immediate understanding of the progress of any communication. So now, why take the time to detail all this organization? I see too often portal where this notion of association and separation of data is not respected, which ends up to an unorganized data and results in a lack of visibility and therefore efficiency of your spot CRM. The more we apply this concept, the more our use of a spot will be optimal. In conclusion, if you need to remember few things, your spot CRM is divided into several databases called objects. We find the contacts of companies, for instance. The information of these objects are organized in properties, and the information of a specific property of a particular record is called value. Each object has its own properties, but the objects are linked to each other with associations, and a spot allows you to track all the activities related to these different objects. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.